Hey guys, Wolverine's here, and we're here to give you another top 10, and these are actually my top 10 Beast-type Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Again, since I don't use Beast a lot nowadays, I'm going to be either I'll be going back to when I did play them, or when they were very relevant in the game. So if they're not up to date, I'm sorry guys, I just don't play them a lot. So number 10 is Soul Tiger. Zero attack, but 2100 defense. I... Back in my day when I played this, wow, I sound like my grandpa now. Back in my day. Back in my day before these x seeds and Synchro shows be flying all over the place. Like back in Star Wars, we have fusions and rituals. It was hard to get over 2000 on the first turn. But in all seriousness, it was true. So when I played Soul Tiger, it was very hard to get past 2100 defense. And four stars, he made perfect tribute fodder. That's why he's number 10. Number 9, Nimble Mamunga. When this card's destroyed by battle and sent to the graveyard, it gained 1,000. And I can special summon two more Nimble Mamunga from my deck. Just like you get an extra 2,000. I'm sold on that one, guys. That's all I gotta say. So my number 8, Giant Rat. When this card story said from battle to the graveyard, I could special summon an earth monster with 1500 or less attack. So I could go from giant rat to my Nimomomonga. It's perfect. But really, no, honestly, giant rat is still used good to this day for a lot of level 4 spam decks. He's really good. I like him. Just searchers tend not to be high on the list for me. For my number 7 is... Hain Hain or Honey Honey, depending on how you want to pronounce it. And how Hain Hain works is when he's flipped, I can send a monster on the opponent's side of the field back to the hand. Or anywhere on the field to be exact. So why he's so high on the list high on the list is because again he reminds me of um Penguin Soldier, but not as good. So you know what? Giant rat, you beat him on that one. So Hain Hain's number eight. Giant Rat's number seven. For number six is Des Koala. If anyone knows me well, I love burn decks. I love giving you damage without having to attack you. And this monster's perfect. It punishes you for being greedy. So you go you use reckless greed, draw two cards, summon a monster, use like you draw you like eight cards in your hand, you attack. You take a 400 for every card in your hand. This is to this is to teach you not to be greedy. And Des Koala is awesome in my book because he teaches that well. For number five, Raiko, Light Sworn Hunter. When he's destroyed after he's flipped, I get to send the top three cards of my deck to the graveyard, which I'm not too crazy about. But I get to destroy one card on the field. He is awesome. Not to mention, he's a wolf. He is a wolf, guys. He is truly the form of a primal hunter. So yeah, that's why he's my number five. Number four, Rescue Rabbit. There's a reason why this card was limited, and still is to this day. I could special summon this. I could summon him. Of course, he can't be special summoned, but. Normal summon, banish, summon two level four same name, instant exceed. Perfect. This is perfect. Imagine if this was running around at three. You everyone would be like, oh fuck that, I'm out of here. He is perfect. And, and also he's he's cute. Look at him. He got a little walkie-talkie for for like a necklace. He's got his little goggles and he's like, I'm going to war, guys. Fall behind me. Hop hop hop. He's awesome. He's good in my book. That's why he's my number four. My number three is Anime Reasoned, and it's Chimera, the flying mythical beast. Why I like him? One, he's from the anime. And two, because he's from the anime. That's the only reason why I like him. Because his artwork in the anime was so badass. I actually thought that if this thing had a mind of its own, it could turn around and eat everyone or anyone. It gives a fuck. It doesn't care. It would just eat it. It's like, bitch, you don't tell me what to do. No, 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 no. 
And that's what it reminds me of. This is like a primal monster. And this is why I like Chimera. So, number two. Ojama King. Why do I like Ojama King? One, he looks fucking ridiculous. It's like a giant white monster with big smile. With wearing like speedo underwear. And he has like a blanket for a cape. He's like awesome. Look at this dancing. He's like. Arr! He reminds me of me when I was a kid and I wanted to be a wrestler. I'd be running around with my shorts all tucked up inside and with my blanket on going. Arr! And that's what he reminds me of. Also, he's very good in lockdown decks. I get to choose at three of the opponent's monster card slots and then they can't use them. Oh my god goodness that plus a ground claps you're done you're not doing nothing you're not summoning anything and that's what's crazy about him with 3,000 defense it is a monstrosity if lockdown decks were still used today it'd be an instant win it's like you know what I quit can't beat you unless I play a burn deck I can't beat you and just walk away it's literally what it is and that's why Ojama King is so awesome. Number one is Leo, the keeper of the sacred tree. Leo is badass. Not only does he look cool, he's level nine, level ten, which just shows you how strong he is. And his effect. He cannot be targeted by card effects except during the main phase two, which barely anyone plays so basically if you skip your main phase two he's untouchable oh compulse nope it's not my main phase two shit uh uh bottomless nope not my main phase two shit he is awesome oh silent honor 101 nope not main phase two shit and that's literally what it is. He is untouchable unless you use your main phase two, which barely anybody uses. And that is why he's my number one. He can literally be indestructible. The only cards that could kill him, Regeki, Mirror Force, Torrential, Dark Hole, or any other cards that nukes the field and kills everything. That's the only way. Even cards like Scrap Dragon, which destroys more than one card at a time. Nope, untouchable. Yeah. This card is almost like a nerfed down Beals, and that is awesome. So, that's my top 10 um, beast type monster, guys. Let me know in the comment down below what you think. Don't be too harsh, this is my opinion. And give us your opinion. Also, there was a little notification I forgot to add. Um, if you guys want to put down your top 10 lists with my top 10s in the comment down below, no problem. Give me your top 10. I always want to know more about you guys. Secondly, I'm only choosing cards that are released right now in the TCG. So if OCG cards are open, I'm not going to pick them, even if I love them. Only because I live in America, and I decide to stick on TCG just in case of any change of Urata or if they want to ban him before he even hits the area. I mean it's very rare if that happens but you never know. So yeah come back next time we'll be tackling Beast Warriors. So this is the Wyvern signing out. Later guys.